Hey, Twitter world, it's me, yours truly. Tough morning listening to all the criticism that LeBron Le uh, James is getting. Um, I'm a fan of LeBron. I admire the work that he's done, how he's helped his community and how he's helped his friends uh, and how he's been fighting all of these social issues, especially that of systemic racism in the legal system and with the police departments around our country. But you can't fight every battle, you know? You can't. Uh, you got to pick your battles. I mean, it's a war that must be fought, but sometimes you need to take your time and be a little more patient before you comment on some of these um, uh, bad incidences that are happening with police departments. Uh, this one, uh, LeBron should have waited. Uh, I'm a little upset with most of the media because they showed us edited versions of what took place with the girl with the knife. They made it sound as if this was another police officer uh, overreacting and killing a young black American. Well, from what I saw when I saw the full tape, the police uh, guy had no choice. He responded. We wish he could have pulled a taser. We wish he could have done it uh, in another way. But in that instance, if he hadn't done what he did, it appeared to me if another young American would have had her life taken uh, um, um, and hey, I can't fault what he did. I wish it was different, but I can't fault it. But LeBron, keep fighting the fight. I think we all got to be a little more patient. I'm against defunding the police. I think you just got to redirect some of those funds to better training and maybe dealing with more uh, um, psychological training. In any event, God bless. Wear your mask, get your shots. I'm just saying.